Hello my dear students, welcome back. We had completed practice at 2.1. Now we will start with the theorem today. The statement of the theorem goes like this. The sum of the measures of angles in a triangle is 180. Now we know though, we have studied about conditional statement, if then form. So here we have to prove this statement that the sum of the measures of angles in a triangle is 180 degree. Very simple theorem. Let us start with writing given. We want a figure. And then if required construction, then we will start with the proof. So let's start. Take your pencil and scale and draw a beautiful triangle. We have a triangle. Yeah. We will give this triangle a name. Let me give this as triangle ABC. Every common man's triangle looks like this. No? Huh. So we have a triangle ABC. We have to prove that the sum of angles in a triangle. If you add these angles in a triangle, in a triangle there are three angles. If you add these three angles, you should get the final sum as 180 degree. So, this we have to prove. So, what is given? Given is a triangle. So, let us write given. In given you will write triangle ABC. This is the only thing given. What you have? You have just a triangle. Now, after that comes to prove. To prove, we have to prove that angle. We will use three letter names. Huh? Which are the three angles? ABC. Angle A, B, C plus, now B take it, B came in the center. Now you will take C in the center. So the angle name will be angle A, C, B plus, C also gone. Now A should come in the center. So either you can write B, A, C or C, A, B. Okay, I will write it as B, A, C is equal to 180 degree. So, we have to prove that if you add this angle and this angle and the third angle, the sum is 180 degree. So, understood from statement how to write given and to prove the sum of the measures of angles in a triangle is 180. We have to prove that if you add the angles, the sum is 180. So, in this what is given? The given thing is only a triangle. Understood? Now, just by looking at the triangle, we will not get the proof. We will have to do some extra construction into it. So, what we will do is, we will draw a line passing through this apex A, vertex A and that line should be parallel to side DC. So, let us draw a line. Draw a line which is parallel and it should pass through point A. Line, so arrows on both the sides. So, I drew a line which is passing through point A. Okay, not intersecting the sides. Huh? Just touching point A. Passing through point A. And this line should be parallel to side BC. The opposite side. That is this side. This line should be parallel. Now, they are looking parallel. Okay. So, this is the construction. Let us write down the construction. Construction. Be along with me. Start. Hope you have written given figure to prove. Now construction. We will write. Draw a line. Let us name this line as uh, A, B, C and all is taken. We will name it as PQ. Draw a line PQ parallel to side BC such that such that what is the betweenness here? P dash, A dash, Q. So the figure is, construction is very clear. Such that P dash, A dash, Q. It should be in this order. Okay, as we got, we wrote. So very important thing, PQ is parallel to BC such that P dash, A dash, Q. You have written the betweenness also, shown the betweenness. I have deleted the given and to prove part I have written it up because every time you prove you will have to look at what you want. Okay, we want to prove this statement. So, every time you have to look at what you want to prove and frame your steps. Understood? So, here, why have we drawn this parallel? We are going to use 
corresponding angles or alternate angles or interior, any one out of that or linear pair. Okay, you have to remember all those types of angles in your mind. So, let us start. Now, if I say the first step, the next steps you will get. I am saying that PQ is parallel to BC. That is our construction. And in the first case, I will take this AB as the transversal. So, if I take the figure out and I show you, this is a PQ. Then we have this AB from here. And then we have the side that is BC. So, here you can see that PQ is parallel to BC and what is the transversal? What is the, what is the name of the line which is cutting these two parallel lines? The name of the line is AB. So, here AB will become the transversal. Which angle is crystal clear here? Which angle is formed here which you can see at once? That is alternate angles. So, if the lines are parallel, what about the alternate angles? Alternate angles are? Yes, correct, congruent. Alternate angles are congruent. So, let us write this step, write down. Line PQ parallel to side BC and we will take AB as the transverse. AB is the transversal. Next step, you have to write up. AB is the transversal. Therefore, PQ parallel to BC and AB is the transversal. So, the alternate angle, that is this two angle. What is the name of the angle? Angle PAB, PAB congruent to angle ABC. Write down the reason, most important part, alternate angles. Understood? PQ parallel to BC we took and we took AB as the transversal. Now same lines we will take PQ and BC. Now we will consider AC as the transversal. AC means from here. So this AC. First we considered AB as the transversal. Now we will consider AC as the transversal. So when you take AC as the transversal, again you can see a pair of alternate angle. That is these angles. What are the names of the, these two angles? These two alternate angles names are angle QAC congruent to angle ACB. So, can you frame the steps by looking into these steps? Write down line PQ parallel to side BC will remain the same. Only the name of the transversal will change. What will you write? AC is the transversal. So, let's write. Line PQ parallel to side BC. AC is the transversal. If you are taking AC as the transversal, which are the alternate angles? Therefore, angle QAC congruent to angle ACB. Reason again, alternate angles. Alternate angles. Now here this step we will give it as number 1. And this step you give it as number 2. Okay. Now I told you every time you get something you have to compare it with what you want. Just check whether we got something from this. Just check. We have ABC. Look down. Did we get ABC anywhere? Yeah. We got ABC. We have ACB, ACB also. And what is happening to ABC and ACB? They are added. So, same thing we will do here. What we will write as the next step? Let us add 1 and 2. Adding 1 and 2. So, adding 1 and 2 means you will add left hand side, left hand side, right hand side, right hand side. This is LHS. This is RHS. So, LHS to LHS you will add. RHS to RHS you will Add. So, next step you will write adding 1 and 2. First, I added LHS, LHS and RHS, RHS. Now, I can check again PAB, QAC is not here. But I got ABC and ACB correctly. Now, when I look at these angles, that is PAB 
Then we have Q, A, C. These angles, no? I'll just draw it once again. Now, two transversals. We consider two transversals. Now, this time, I am taking the angles this way. Whenever you see this figure, which type of angles you can recollect? These are linear pair angles. Linear pair angles comes this way, no? This way or this way. All these are linear pair angles. And the sum of the measures of linear pair angles is 180 degree. Okay? So, we can take the help of linear pair angles here. You can see this 180. 180 is also coming in linear pair. So, understood how to frame the connection. Okay? So, nobody will come and tell you that, huh, you take this. You should get that connection. For that, you should know certain basic concepts, which we have already covered. We know about corresponding angles. We know about linear pair angles. So, here you can see that when I am talking about only this transversal, then this angle, name of this angle is angle PAB plus this big angle that is QAB. When you add these two angles, they look like linear pair. So, you should get 180 degree. Is it fine? So, when you add PAB and QAB, you should get 180 degree. Now, what, are, what is stopping you from getting this 180 degree? Here we have PAB, we have QAC is this, this much part also we have. What is missing? We have PAB, we have QAC. Which part is missing for the linear pair to be completed? Which part is missing? This part is missing. We have PAB, once again I explain. And we have QAC. But adding these two angles will not give you 180. You have to add PAB and QAC. So which part is missing? That is this. This angle is missing. Same angle is missing here also. What is the name of the angle? BAC, right? Same angle is missing here also. BAC we want here also. We got ABC. We got ACB. Kya baki hai abhi? BAC. So BAC kidar hai? Here we have BAC. If you add PAB and BAC and QAC, you will get 180 degree. Now three angles you can't write in pair. Pair means two angles, no? So what we will do is, we will make this QAC and CAB angle as one angle. Okay? So I will write adding BAC on both the sides. BAC is missing, no? So, if you add here on the right hand side, you have to add it on the left hand side also. I hope you understood children. What am I saying? When I compare, I see that I have ABC, I have ACB. What is missing is BAC. But when I looked at the figure, if you put that BAC, you are getting linear pair angles. Linear pair angles make 180 degree. So, we will add that angle BAC on both the sides. Okay? So, next step will be... Adding angle BAC on both sides. On both sides. So, how will you get? Get PAB plus QAC plus BAC is equal to. I don't have space here. So, I am writing down. You continue. What you have here? ABC plus ACB plus BAC. Okay. We added BAC on both the sides. Huh. Now what do you see? What we want? All the angles we got here. Only this thing we want to remove. We don't want PAB, QAC and BAC here. But if you add PAB, QAC and BAC, what you get is 180 degree. Huh? So, what we will do is, we will bring these two angles together. Because in linear pair, there can't be three angles. There should be two angles. So, we will join these two angles and make it as one angle. So, let us write, therefore, angle PAB plus, what is QAC plus BAC? Look into the figure. QAC plus BAC we are getting the angle as QAB. 
and so I will write it as QAB. Which property I used here? Angle addition property is equal to, write down the remaining. Now I can fit in ABC plus ACB plus BAC. Okay, so here you can write the reason as angle addition. You added two angle and made it into one. After this step, we realize that PAB and QAB are linear pair angles. So you will write both PAB plus QAB is equal to 180 degree. Why? Because they are linear pair. They form linear pair. So if PAB plus QAB is 180 degree, we will put that here. Okay, so this we will give it as, this we will give it as 3 numbering and this we will give it as 4. So, from 3 and 4, from 3 and 4 you can write that, from 3 and 4. In place of PAB plus QAB you will put 180. So, put in place of this 180, therefore, 180 is equal to Angle ABC plus angle ACB plus angle BAC. See, same thing you got. You wanted to prove this. Sum of the measures of angles in a triangle is 180 degree. Write it properly. Therefore, angle ABC plus angle ACB plus angle BAC is equal to 180 degree. Put it Put it in a box and write, hence proved, P-R-O-V-E-D. Understood? So, this way we have successfully proved that sum of the measures of angles in a triangle is 180 degree. Okay? So, I hope you are uh, clear with the theorem. So, this theorem we will now apply in the sums. Suppose, what is, what is the theorem saying? Any triangle, if you add all the three angles, it is 180 degree. So, if I have these, this triangle and I say that one angle is 60, the other is 70, what will be the measure of the third angle? All three angles if you add, you should get 180. If one angle is 60, second angle is 70, how much is 60 plus 70? 130. So, what will be the third angle? 180 minus 130, that is 50 degree. These are the sums that are asked in SSC also. In 10th standard also, such type of questions are asked for 2 marks. But here you have to write the property as the sum of the measures of angles in a triangle is 180 degree. Repeat with me. The sum of the measures of angles in a triangle is 180 degree. So I hope all of you have understood this theorem well. Okay. Now in the coming days, we will start with the other theorems as well as practice at 2.0. Till we meet for the next time, all of you take care.